Hello, this is a preview of our first two-day art and antique sale, which is next Wednesday, the 24th and 25th of January. Uh, we've finished the catalogue, it's all online now, and we're almost set up in the sale room. We've been undergoing quite a bit of renovation over Christmas in the sale room here, so that we can accommodate the new two-day art and antique sale. And part of the renovation, if you look round, Will, is the... Um, we've put a gallery in on that platform where we used to hold all the furniture so we've uh, put a lot of hanging space over there and we've taken out the back section of seats at the back of the room to uh, house all the furniture so we've and another part of the renovations has been to restore all our original 1930 cinema seats so they've all been re-upholstered re-carpeted underneath so lots of work gone on there lots of expense and uh, so we've got our first sale next week, so it'll all be ready at the end of tomorrow. We're having two days of viewing, so Monday and Tuesday all day. So Monday from 9 till 5 in the evening, Tuesday and 9 till 7 in the evening, and the sale Wednesday. We'll have a quick look round as usual and just sort of see a few things. I've just put these down here. Uh, these are, despite the fact that they're in immaculate and pristine condition, they're late 19th century so they're well over a hundred years old they're by Brownfields um, an English factory um, although they were retailed in Philadelphia so they have marks on the backs from the shop in Philadelphia but absolutely beautiful bright hand painted enamel with textured gilding on the back that was all hand painted as well and there's not a mark on any of these plates but so individually made plates there. And these here on the table here, again, were hand gilded from the same factory. These are by Brownfields as well. So again, well over 100 years old. Quite a bit of um, porcelain in this sale. And I suppose the, the vast majority of this sale is Zolne, which is a Hungarian factory. It's, it was started in 1850s, uh, 1858, I think. It was, um, and all of this here, and a few more pieces besides are by Zolne. So they still produced, they still produce porcelain now, but most of this dates to pre-1900. And there's some extremely ornate pieces amongst it. So if you look at these vases, that's a pair of those. And this is very popular stuff in, in Hungary now. So that's where the vast majority of the collectors are in Hungary. So all these extremely poor, um, detailed pieces here. And look at this one here. This, that's a fabulous, very ornate um, gilt bronze and porcelain table centre dish there. Absolutely loads of it here. Um, this um, blue lustre plaque is also Zolne. And I'll show you some more pieces down here as well. Um, just carry on. This is all still being set up down here, but quite a, an eclectic mix of things. A Margaret Thatcher poster there from the Morning Star. Kalashnikov. <laughs> and uh, 19th century uh, Lancer's helmet there. That's an interesting thing. These are fantastic quality. These are 19th century German porcelain plaques. There are no factory marks on these. Um, I'd expect them to be Berlin or KPM or something like that. But uh, Now, this one in my hand is in immaculate condition. This one has been broken, unfortunately. So that's the main one we're selling. And you get that one free. But um, that's a superb quality thing. Don't take me up on that. Free. <laughs> it's not free. Okay, we're coming on the, across here. More Zolne here. You can spot this a mile off now when you see a few pieces of it. This, again, despite the fact that it's extremely bright and gold, is over 100 years old. It dates to about 1890. And can't find a trace of another example of, of that type of carriage that's ever come up for sale or, or exist in, in a museum. So, difficult thing to value, really. Um, there's some more, more interesting Zolde here as well. Um, silver in the cabinets here as well. This is a Georgian silver tray here. Should be 
around 800 to 1,000 pounds, that tray. This is really stylish, I really like this. Um, this was made, uh, the, the designer is Robge, who's a Spanish um, sculptor. It was made by Serve in Paris, and it's a 19, um, it's, a, well, it's an Art Deco 1930s sculpture. That's a very fashionable thing in porcelain, probably worth sort of three to 500 or so. Going on here again, more, more Zolne. There we are. Let's just have a look over here because I've got a few more things. Interesting things in the cabinets here as well. As usual, got an old Scrimshaw whale tooth there. It's a genuine old whale tooth. They're, they're, they're things that have massively reproduced, but that is a genuine one. Um, in the cabinets here, we've got, this is interesting. Look at that book, this is vellum bound and it's a book of engravings. So, this is the original binding and it's full of these engravings. So, there's a, a scene, it's one of the plagues in Egypt. So, this is an original engraving by, um, what's his name, Anthony Tem Tempesto, I think the name is. Um, and the, this writing under here is all handwritten. This is all ink inscriptions. And it dates to about 1590, this book. The cover's actually coming away. But there are over 200 of these engravings in the book here. It's a fascinating thing. Um, that's just something else quite rare this time. Um, it's an Amiga gold watch and this is one of the first examples of a waterproof watch and the main reason was that you can't see a winder for the water to leak in so you actually un undo it and slide it out and that's how you wind it up so it's really just that it's in a waterproof housing there that makes it quite a quite a rarity but it it's um it's a solid gold cased mid-size watch that's smart isn't it um, and some medals this time. This is a first war group, a military medal group. So this is for bravery in the field. And that, that medal in particular is particularly desirable. So that's four or five hundred pounds worth, that group of medals. So it makes quite a difference when you add that military medal to it. And we'll just carry on around here. So we've got all the pictures on display this month, where this would have been um, small items of china and metalware before. It's now paintings on display over there. There's a Meissen uh, liqueur stand. It's an interesting thing. Quite a bit of jewellery in this time as well. These are our newly upholstered cinema seats that I'm very proud of. And then at the back of the room, we've got all the, the furniture section. So uh, this we've just picked up today. It's a magnificent uh, late 19th century American roll top desk. And the chair as well, look at that. It's got that same golden color to it. And the unusual thing with this one is that it's got these fold out bits. Can't say that I've seen one like that before that does that. Makes that quite a nice usable flat top desk there. And that should be sort of something over £500 or so. And there's a few other nice bits of furniture as well. So a very nice French boule marquetry um, credenza, they call these. A very, very nice quality with um, bronze mounts. And this is tort tortoise shell and brass marquetry inlay. An extremely elaborate piece of furniture there. And it just came out of a house in, in battle, just up the road from us here. And actually another battle thing is this. This is a, uh, this is a 30 hour 18th century long case clock there and it's from by a battle maker. So again, it's a local piece. And the maker is Obadiah Body, who's, who's known around here, around these parts, but I'm not sure where else. And actually it's a few nice garden pieces this time as well. I know it's not the right time of year to be thinking about gardens, but these came out of a local house. So it's a Haddon Stone font. And we've got some really nice urns over here as well, and some lovely weathered stone saddle stones here. Look at that fantastic shape of that one over there. That's brilliant, isn't it? 
and there's the picture gallery as well. So that should be all finished and set up by tomorrow. It's ready for viewing on Monday. So we're open from nine o'clock on Monday for viewing for the two days. Uh, so if you have a look through that and uh, we're the sales on Wednesday and Thursday, the picture sale section on the Thursday starts at 11 a.m. But please have a look online. Thank you very much.